Ah, uh, good morning, late afternoon. Um, I'm in the area of Wasdale Head, the pub and the campsite's just, just through there. Um, I'm not staying at the campsite, but we're heading off into the hills. Um, I've got some sort of route, um, but we'll take as it comes, both with the weather and terrain. This is really getting ready for next year's Cape Wrath Trail, so it's all about using the 1 in 40,000 maps. And that's what I want to get used to, the scale and the hills. I'm used to 1 in 50 and 1 in 25. So I've got a 1 in 40. Let's go for a wander for a couple of days. So we've just come up the valley from Wasdale. And over to the west there we've got Red Pike. Looking a bit icky up there. We've got the pillar, then the way we're going to the right is uh, over Black Sail Pass. Uh, my route was going to take me over the pillar, but I've changed it slightly because I got here a bit late. Uh, but the forecast for the next day or two is a bit variable. It's sunny down in Wasdale, um, but I'll say up in the hills, a bit cloudy. But isn't it beautiful? And I haven't seen a soul. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get going now. I right, just taken five, sat next to a Gaberstone Beck, still going up Black Sail Pass. I've been quite poor the last two weeks. I haven't had COVID, just had a, a horrible bug. And I haven't been to the gym or done anything. So I'm feeling this, uh, just got no energy. So I'm just taking it nice and nice and steady. Still black clouds up in the air, up in the hills, but it's all right down here. I'm just gonna get a drink of water now from the back. So we've come over the pass now, Black Sail Pass. And where I was going to end up for the night down there is a Black Sail Youth Hostel, where I stopped at once when I was doing the coast to coast coming along the valley. So what I'm going to do now, because I'm still not feeling great, uh, work my way off this hill, go to the Youth Hostel, which is the most remote Youth Hostel apparently. Uh, it should be open. Uh, use the honesty service and have a cup of coffee. I was going to go wild camp down there somewhere though anyway. So that's what I think I'll do. Let's get off this hill though. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So that's where we've just come down, Black Sail Pass. Just met a guy on this bridge and I'm going to go to Black Sail Youth Hostel now and tell you uh, about him. We just make him out there. He just, he just stood on this bridge. He's got a, a 1 in 25 map that's not waterproofed. He's got not a t-shirt on. And he's, he's asked me where he is. I said, well, you're at the footbridge, Black Sail Youth Hostel's there. Where do you think you are? Um, Seaf Toller, Seaf Weight, which is what? Miles away. Then I said, where are you going? And he went, I want to go to Seathwaite. 
I said, well, the quickest way is through Windy Gap there or up over that way to Honest Slate Mine, where I'll be going tomorrow. I said, but I won't be going up there, mate. The weather's, weather's bad. He goes, well, I just want to get to a road. So I said, well, how do you get here? He goes, I don't know. So what I've just done, I've just sent him down to Ennerdale Water. And I said, just keep stick to the right. You will come to a pub in Ennerdale. <laughs> Madness. Um, I'm no expert out here, but, you know, you've got to be prepared. And they'll just go wandering around the Lake District. The clags, it is bad up there, but it's not horrendously bad, but... Well, I'm off to youth, Black Sail Youth Hostel now, just to chill out there, see if it's open. And if it's not, I'll just uh, chill out there for a bit anyway. We're at Black Sail Youth Hostel. Last time I was here, I was walking uh, on the way to Honiton Slate Mine. I think I'll go there tomorrow. Um, on the coast to coast. It's all locked up, which I thought it would be. And the toilets are open. Uh, which I've just used and it's three o'clock um, So I might just chill out here for a bit. I've got um, that guy he, he has, I've, I've seen him now heading towards Annadale. He was just completely, don't know Just no, no kit and nothing a, a ripped map and didn't know where he was. I couldn't even get out of him How did you get here? Where's your car? He's like, I don't know oh, Nearest civilization safely is Annadale from here. So I've sent him that way um, so I'm no expert at this sort of stuff, but at least just know your capabilities and also, you know, you put other people at risk come to get you out of situation. Um, I wasn't going to send them over that way. There's be gap in that because uh ticky up there. Anyway, he's heading towards Ennerdale. I'm going to get sorted out. I found my camp spot that way towards Ennerdale, where I've just been. You've got Black Sail Youth Hostel, a um, couple hundred metres away. Great cable. So I'm going to go on this flat spot here. But again, by the time you find somewhere nice, scarred by people who've been there before, having a big dirty fire. Um, it's a bit early, it's quarter to four ish to get the tent up, but the forecast is due rain plus. This is as far as I'm going today. I changed my route for the day, uh, but I was planning to end up in the area of, of the youth hostel. So I'm getting cold. So I'm going to get the tent up uh, and just relax. Oh yeah, I uh, just managed to get the tent before the rain started. I've not gone where I wanted to go, where I showed you before the flat bit. I think because it was so flat, an old building, it was just stones underneath, you couldn't do anything. So I've come. Um, a few hundred metres up the river. I'm still just by the river. I've got my water. It's just raining a bit now, so hopefully I'll show you later where I am. Uh, I'm gonna have a brew now because it's. Uh, I've been gagging all day, um, and then have something to eat, and I just relax. I think. But hopefully the rain will die off, and we'll show you where we are. Uh, but we're in a tent, relaxing now. Uh, get changed later. Absolutely blasting outside with the rain, but I've just had a um, chicken tikka with rice. It's quite nice that. I'm just trying to, uh, for next year's big walk to Cape Wrath, I'm just trying to work out what food to take, but that was one of the nice ones that. Nice cup of coffee and some sort of bar for my pudding. Yeah, I rate that chicken tikka with rice. Very tasty. Oh yeah, it's coming about half six, I'm not going to hang around, getting wet just being out here. Do you want to have a comfort break? Then I'm going to get hunkered down the tent, I think, for the night. Uh, the clags come really in. Uh, it's raining quite heavily now, and it was hammering down before. So I'm going to get sorted out, get in the tent. Uh, yeah, but 
that's looking back towards Black Sail and then Great Cable and all that sort of stuff that way so it's just uh, yeah ticky now so I'm gonna get sorted out get in the tent I, it's pitch black, I doubt you'll be able to see me, I've tried to put my head torch onto my face um, I'm not sure what time it is, push up to about nine, half nine now uh, Stop raining for a bit, you can see the top of the mountains The forecast, um, I've just listened to the forecast on Radio 4 and it said there's bad weather in the Midlands coming up north So I don't know if we're going to get hit with that um, But we're snug as a bug in a tent anyway um, and then uh, a bit more, but I brought my winter coat on me, grab real quick, grab 900. So I'm going to be snug as a bug. Um, I really can't see anything looking at this camera with the, the light in my eyes. So I'm going to hit, hit the tent. That's me for the night. Um, again, the weather dependent tomorrow depends on where we go and what route. Um, and also, because I'm getting over this bug, how I'm feeling. Um, so if the world doesn't end, if the tent's still in the morning, which I'm sure it will be, um, I'll see you in the morning. All right then, see you later. Hiya, welcome to a super windswept, super rainy uh, morning. Um, weather was on and off last night till about two o'clock and then it just came in very, very bad. Winds blowing down, even though the forecast wasn't for strong winds. Uh, and the rain's been horrendous. Tented brilliant. Um, ground sheets just holding up because I'm actually now in a puddle. The, the ground's got sodden um, everywhere around me, it's just water. Um, so I've packed up the best I can. I'm going to have some breakfast and a brew. And then when it's light, drop the tent and get out of here. My plan today was to go to. Um, Hollister, Slate Mine, then cut back past Green and Great Cables and then drop down into Wasdale and have a wild camp there or go to the little campsite uh, where the car is. I'm changing that because of the weather and obviously there's no signal so I don't know what the forecast is going to be. I'm going to miss out Hollister Slate Mine because where we are is in the big bowl. You've got Black Sail Pass where I come down yesterday You've got Lothbeck, coast to coast route up to um, Hollister Slate Mine area, or straight behind me, up towards Green and Great Cables, a big climb up a thing called the Tongue, and then you hit a track. So what I'm going to do is, I think, go that way, and then turn a right, and basically head southwest. And once I'm up there, past the two cables, it should drop me down into Wasdale. So I don't think I'll be talking much while I'm hiking later. Hopefully I'll show you some of the of the uh, what it's like out there. Uh, but rather be safe than sorry. Because um, I don't the forecast isn't what I checked on the next two days. It's completely different. Alright then, breakfast time, brew time, and then we'll uh, crack on decamping. Try and get in before the wind, that's where I stayed last night. River's now in full spate. All the streams are pouring down. And we're just make it out there. We're heading up the tongue there. And then hopefully we will swing southwestish and get to Wash. Really, really come in the weather which wasn't forecasted. Which just shows you and brings me back onto that guy yesterday. But anyway, let's get going. First obstacle shows you what a few hours rain can do. Bring this little brook into full space. Gotta try and cross this somewhere.
think of it, the track that I was looking for, super high climb that. I couldn't, uh, I had to go cross country virtually and follow the back all the way up, uh, just using a force. Um, I wasn't risking crossing some places, it was ridiculous. But, Cape Raft trails like this, so uh, <laughs> middle of nowhere. But this should just take us now, uh, the near side of Great, re cabled, I think they're called, and then we should start popping down into Glasdale. Uh, but super wet, super windy, and everything very swollen. Eyes on the prize down there now. Back to Wasdale Head and Wash Water. Just going past uh, Wasdale Inn. Just moved down to the car park and get my motor. Great, great couple of days. Very hard though. Very hard route. Today's weather was super challenging and the navigation was super challenging. But um, it was good. Um, I think I'll be looking for new waterproof traps as well. These Berghaus ones I've got. Nah, no good. Anyone going in know any good? Waterproof trousers, let me know. Anyway, get to the car now and get home. But it was a good, it was a good little day out. I'm not sure how it's, how it's going to come out. Um, here's a little campsite you can stay at, Wasdale, Wasdale there. Six quid. I was going to stay there tonight um, because it was a bit later. But it's only just got midday, so I'll be home for the afternoon. Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure it's going to come out. With the weather, wind and wind, we'll see anyway. Anyway, take care, see you in the next one.